Welcome to Snapback Jack and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I think last time we burned down a uh, tobacco field. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen at some point. Because <clears throat> they, um, the family said that, all the family said they um, hadn't had rain in like months. So obviously when you haven't had rain in like months, Fields burn very quickly. That was my chair, by the way. No trespassing, which I'm pretty sure we do that anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do that anyway. You know what? I haven't actually seen, I know it sounds a bit random thing to say. Um, I'm a big fan of like Quentin Tarantino films like Pulp Fish and I Hate for Lay and that sort of stuff. I've never actually seen Kill Bill, so I ordered it the other day. I'm going to watch that in a minute. It's uh, volume 1 and 2. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. well that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys. On the road in the town, and things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tight. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed... a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Idiot. Okay, so we're gonna finally let's go then. 
take down Carl or Driscoll, oh no, 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 it's way too short. It won't happen just yet, surely not. Because <coughs> if we... No, you know, no, it wouldn't be happening I've yet. been fighting Colm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. See that, Fran? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Well, trying is asking for failure. The what? All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right. All right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. This is obviously a trap. <clears throat> oh, here they are. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. <laughs> how's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Gail, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Yo, 
Oh, just love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Okay, yeah, it was a trap. I knew it was going to be a trap. Oh, uh, well, I've just been captured. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to be into death. I don't know. Column's got a sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. True. He's escaping and shooting him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Oh, Did God, I've just you? been shot. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh God! Morgan. Oh god, okay. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. But why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of it. Hand you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, this is awful. Why am I wearing a, a, a cowl?
qua oh I'm gonna cauterize the wound oh no Oh, you're going to put gunpowder in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Caught her on food. Oh, God. Oh, God. knives. I've literally have nothing. Some throwing knives. Oh, hold on. No, that's all I've got. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Oh, I fucked it, I fucked it. I fucked it, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, let's, should we do the mission again? Just kill me, just kill me. Do it, let's do this again, because that was whoa, that was close. Oh come on. What's happened now? <clears throat> Jeez, so I got tortured, <laughs> completely tortured, and I cauterized the room with gunpowder. Oh God! Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help! 
Reverend Swanson? He's gonna set the law on our flow. Of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Why am I sitting there? Few weeks later. Why am I sitting there? I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Let me, hold on, let me have a look at what this, this deer thing is. I want to see what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. So, if Arthur has high honour, the players see a deer, specifically a stag grazing in serene forest, symbolising Arthur's kindness. Okay. Apparently, if he's got low honor, he sees a coyote or a wolf. Depending on how the end of the game happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's what it means. Okay. I was like, what the what does that actually mean? So, because I've got high honor, because I've been helping people. That means I'm seeing deer and stacks. So if I do have low honor, I see a coyote or a wolf. Okay, and that depends how the end happens. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? <clears throat> been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent. For no good reason. Kind of, yeah. I mean, you're killing a bunch of people. For the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hi, Pearson. Yeah, I mean... So, okay, so, I, yeah, obviously I learnt online. I didn't really understand the whole ah, honour thing. I think the higher honour you have... I think the ending changes depending on how 
the honor is which is interesting <clears throat> because I don't think in the first one it didn't really matter too much if you had high or low honor honor because I remember in the first one um, you play as John Marston and I think John Marston gets killed <laughs> He gets killed by the Pinkertons. I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well... Lead the way and we'll find out. Okay. So we're going to Rhodes again, are we? You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So... Where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see.
Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask... Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping the complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. A lot better. Oh, so it's a right lot better. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. I'm looking for him. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth.
safe. My good man, they're perfectly safe. Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. I want to be quiet, you horrible little man. One more time, from the top. Madam, I have heard enough. Might I have your pardon? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My mother. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for one. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Okay, so the next one will be... Oh, there's another one here as well. The grass. Yeah, that's... Mm. Yeah. Well, first of all... Let's make some food first. <laughs> and then... And then... We can just fast travel there, because I'm not going to run all the way there. <clears throat> I will say the um, customization and making stuff is pretty damn, pretty damn cool. Like the interaction with everything is pretty damn cool. Fast travel. Uh, Calico. Yeah, the interaction's really good. Really good. So we, yeah, we're taking down the greys and the braithways now completely. We we burn that. Uh, tobacco filled down. Yeah. I do like this area, it's pretty cool. It's a big plantation. Horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you? Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. How about the stables, I think? Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Okay, so now we're gonna steal some horses. It seems like we're gonna steal some horses now. The mission is a bit weird. <laughs> Scarface 
and Mexican man. <laughs> That's really bad. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up and down, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Tag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. In the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongols! Sli this way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Oh, yeah, I thought that was a... Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! Take stop these men! Stop! More coming this way! Out of the fields! So he's just horse Whoa, rustlers you now. Okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him!
Come on. Yep. Whoa! Hey, Morgan! Over here! You got it! Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Come on, now. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. You boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. <laughs> I'm sure we'll for you, Arthur. Time. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce is and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what are they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you that. Whoa! What? The fuck? They just killed off a character just like that? Jesus Christ. Do you two old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> what? Um, what? I didn't do anything and he died. <laughs> How did Charles die? I literally turned the corner and he died. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a bit, a bit random. Oh, I've got to do this whole thing again, and I. Well, that was so random. <laughs> it just turned me around. Let's get this hag outside. Any more of our sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boy, short jack ain't in here. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that 
That's the end of the goddamn Kirby's game. <laughs> Oh my god, he's picked her up. I didn't see that. He's, he's, car he's fire carrying. Fireman carrying her. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Son Denis. Either there. Yeah. Okay, so the next place is Santa Ney. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> okay, so we killed. Okay, so we've actually killed them now. The Grays and the Braithwaite. Now we're going to Santa Ney now. I reckon we'll be going to a new settlement as well. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to Bella understand Shady this, Bell, but yeah. I've never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared Rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. Yep. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron. I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing... as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed... He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case... It'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, Griffin. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. 
I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. The smoke and columns. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, San, San Denis, yeah. Subject called San Denis, not Saint Denis. San Denis. New horses available to purchase in Scarlet Meadows and San Denis. God, how many missions I got here? Angeli Bronte. Oh yeah, I can do his mission as well. Cool. The grass. Is that what it's called? I'm going to quickly save. Thirty nine per cent. I I've got way off by the way. Uh, I I looked online. I've got another uh two chapters to go and those two chapters are very long. Very, very long. It's like sixty more main missions. And then there's the epilogue as well. <laughs> Which the epilogue is about six to seven hours. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to leave this one here, and um, I'll see you in the next one, take care and peace.